Hello everyone. We certainly were expecting our Mad Edition watch to generate some contrasted reactions, which would be totally understandable. But nothing like the tidal wave which submerged us. Of course, the fact that we did not communicate at all on it generated the wildest assumptions in the market. Now that the dust has settled a little, let's talk about it. First of all, I love creating our horological and legacy machines at MBNF, and I have absolutely no plans to slow down on that front. Most of you do not know that when I started MBNF 16 years ago, I had created in parallel a second watch brand, which was around $4,000 retail. It was called Green Dog, and even though the product was truly cool, I never found the funding necessary to launch it. And um, in hindsight, that is probably a very good thing. Why would I want to do that? Because I've always wanted to create pieces for my friends and family. And also, um, I must admit that there is an enormous intellectual challenge in trying to create something original at those lower price points. The technical constraints are immense and completely different to ultra high-end pieces like MBNF. And, as usual, I love learning and I get it, I'm getting out of my creative comfort zone. So, nine years later, in 2014, I thought up this amazing piece. And even though we are truly proud of the result, we could not put the MBNF name on it. The engineering, complexity, and of course the finishing are not at all at the same league. So we created a new label, Mad Edition, linking it to the mechanical art universe we've created with our Mad Galleries. The development process clearly lasted a while because we were doing this as a side project on top of all our very intense MBNF activity. At the same time, it was clear in my mind that Mad One could not put our MBNF operations in danger. Our highly skilled but small team of engineers and watchmakers create and craft just over 200 timepieces a year. The Mad One is obviously not as complex, but those same watchmakers modify the base movement, mount the hour and minute cylinders, the oversized rotor, do the encasing and the final testing. Assembling thousands of Mad One is unthinkable for us. Our workshops and team are just not equipped for it. That's why, after much internal debate, we decided to proceed step by step. And this is important in the fairest way possible. Without MBNF, there would be no Mad One. So let's use this occasion to say a big thank you to those who helped us create MBNF. First, the friends, the over 100 talented suppliers who have helped us create and our timepieces since 2005. Those who craft our dials, our hands, our cases, escapements, movement components, sapphire crystals, but also the photographers, the writers, the designers, and all the other creative we work with. The vast majority of all those people definitely don't have the means to acquire an MBNF. The second group of people to receive an email from us were our patrons. The collectors who have supported us from the beginning by acquiring our machines. Without them, MBNF would not exist. This is why the Mad One was also suggested to the members of the tribe, our owners club. Now let's come back to the watch itself. We're actually super proud of what we've achieved for that price. The case structure and time display are especially innovative, with an upside down movement allowing to place this titanium and tungsten rotor on top, the revolving hours and minutes rings around the case, the construction of the case, which is a mystery, and we'll keep it that way for a little longer. At that price point, developing a caliber from scratch was obviously not an option. So we looked at various solutions, but one factor was key, a unidirectional winding system that allows the rotor to spin easily and at high speed. The only movement at that price point, which is the reliable Mayota, which our watchmakers modify thereafter in our Geneva workshops. As for the 2021 price for friends and the tribe, it of course does not reflect the real value or the cost of the Mad One. At this point, um, it can only be thought as a thank you. Having said that, 
We have many other friends and partners who are neither suppliers nor tribe members and myriads of them have informed us that they want a MAD1. So we are still discussing with our team the possibility of making it available to a wider public. As mentioned, it would require some adjustments in our production setup. But I can tell you today that we will do our best to make it happen. In any case, that would be a somewhat modified version and made available at best in early 2022. So thank you again so much for all your incredible messages over the last weeks and therefore stay tuned. <laughs>